Florida Christians condemn face masks in Palm Beach County, uh, Florida. All right, let's let's, so, watch this. let's watch this. Oh no, I I made a mistake. Yes, here we go. Oh wait, no, no, because I need to share the screen with. I, mean, I, I was suggesting that someone else could also share the screen because your computer might get hanged. Oh, that would have been a good idea if you suggested it earlier. But now I already have it. Wait, um, have I unmuted this? Yes, it's unmuted. So, okay. So, guys, I'm going to play this. Let me know if you have the audio, okay? I'm very sad to see. Do you have the audio? Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's play it again. I do. Sad to see. The authorities stomping on our constitutional oh. rights. Wait, I'm very sad. sorry, I have it in double seat. Is the audio level okay? It's a little quiet. I don't know what to do. Okay. All right, here. I'm very sad to see the authorities stomping on our constitutional rights and trying to decide something when they have no scientific proof that masks will protect a person and they want to throw God's wonderful breathing system out the door. You're all turning your backs on it. Can you prove that it's good for people to breathe carbon dioxide over and over and over again? God made it so that we would breathe, breathe in fresh oxygen to go to our body, to every cell in the body. It has to have that to make energy. When you wear a mask, the nose is cut off, the mouth is cut off, and you're brooding carbon dioxide over and over and over again. You're not getting the fresh oxygen that God intended. You're sending carbon dioxide to every cell in the body, polluting it, especially the brain. You can't do that. I can't understand why you at all decide something like this and want to hurt the people. You're going to harm the health of all of the people. That the virus is going to keep on going because people's bodies are being polluted and the virus is attracted to polluted bodies. You're going against God's wonderful gift he gave us. We the people will work day and night to clean every single seat if need be. We will get together and do a citizen's arrest on every single human being that goes against the freedom of choice, okay? You cannot mandate, you literally cannot mandate somebody to wear a mask knowing that that mask is killing people. It literally is killing people. And my, the people, we the people are waking up and we know what citizen's arrest is because citizen's arrests are already happening. Okay, and every single one of you that are obeying the devil's laws are going to be arrested and you doctor are going to be arrested for crimes against humanity. Every single one of you have a smirk behind that little mask, but every single one of you are going to get punished by God. You cannot, you cannot escape God. You cannot escape God. I'm going to say that again. You cannot escape God, not even with the mask or six feet. Okay, six feet, like I said before, is military protocol. You're trying to get the people to train them. So when the, the cameras, the 5G comes out, what? They're, they're going to they're gonna scan everybody. We got to get scanned. We got to get temperatured. The kids have to go to school with masks. Are you insane? Are you crazy? I think all of you should be in a psych ward right the heck now. Because none of you, none of you, know what the hell you are all talking about. This is insane. And then you want to open this meeting with a prayer to God. Are you praying to the devil? Because God is not listening to that prayer. Because all of you are practicing the devil's laws. What happened to Bill Gates? Why is he not in jail? Why is Hillary Clinton not in jail? Why are all of, the, all of these pedophiles that are demanding you all to, to listen to their rules? Why are they not in jail? Oh, is it because you're part of them? Thank are you, you part of the deep your state? Time has expired. The deep state is going down. And this if any of you are morning. in the deep state, you're going I'm down finding, with it. I'm finding that you are disrupting this meeting. Jesus. That's... 
Okay, so she mentioned the. Okay, Susanna, you want to give the read the summary before we start commenting on this? Okay. Um, commissioners in Palm Beach County, Florida, unanimously passed an ordinance requiring face masks in public spaces. Some of the people who delivered public comments denounced the decision as an attack on their freedom. One lady accused officials of trying to throw, uh, of trying to quote, throw God's wonderful breathing system out the door. Another speaker said the masks are killing people and that the commissioners are obeying the devil's laws and that they'll be punished by God, that 5Gs are coming after the people, and that the commissioners should be, quote, in a psych ward. Meanwhile, Florida has seen a record spike in COVID cases this past week. Um, okay, that's that whole, I mean, all of it is, is insane, except I really like the devil's law part. Like, that should be a thing. Obeying the devil's law, what is that? Can we have that? I mean, that like, sounds like the next that, t-shirt. That sounds like a party to me. Like, I don't know. But that's, I don't know, that's that seems like metal. Hell yeah. Good, I mean, what yeah. do you think comes first? Like eating babies or orgies? In the laws of what you have to do. <laughs> Why not both at the same time? All right, Rupert. <laughs> well, I would like to point out that this was a council meeting that had just passed an ordinance that masks had to be worn in public. And did you notice that the people that she was speaking to, I think they were all men, none of them were wearing masks? I thought they were. In some of the no, videos, there was I... one guy. Mm -hmm. There was one guy in the foreground who had turned around to look at her that was wearing a mask. But they were in this circular thing, and they had like a screen in front of them or a plastic guard, and they weren't wearing masks. So, anyways, that's neither here nor there. But it is germane to masks. <laughs> Is it weird that I feel bad for that second lady? I think like she's so far gone that she needs like she needs help. Like, I mean, it's funny and all because it's all just crazy and we could be like, wow, this is insane. I can't pe believe people like this exist. But at the same time, I'm like, holy shit. Like, how could you even survive? How could you even I'm gonna stop hitting the mic? Sorry. How, it's okay. How could you even survive? How could you even go through your life? Like, if that's how your information processing works, why are you not dead yet? Like, have, why haven't you, like, drank something till now that killed you at some point? It, it seemed like she was having loose associations or flight of ideas or whatever. She was moving from, like, one thing to like she started to talk about mass and god and then bill gates and then the 5g comes down and the so yeah but it's, i just thought it was uh, funny that I've, she's I've crazy curious, but something like i wouldn't even think of in elementary school like that was some crazy stuff yeah, so mm -hmm. how, how common is this kind of belief so um, there's probably a viewer who's a little bit more familiar or up to date on it nowadays, but I have a suspicion that she is a follower of QAnon, um, cause she was using, um, a lot of, um, terminology that they use. They are always talking about deep state. They're always talking about, um, the devil's laws, um, God and they in a different clip I saw she talks about um like six feet in military lingo and they have all these conspiracies about um public life trying to be militarized so QAnon is basically like the granddad it's not the granddaddy I mean it's like if every conspiracy theory somehow was loosely tied together um, so it's kind of like the conspiracy theory of all conspiracy theories. And um, unfortunately, I'm very concerned that the Q theory is becoming more and more widespread. Um, it's, um, a, it's basically a cult um, with no specific leader. I mean, Q is kind of their leader, but no one knows who Q is. It probably isn't one singular person. Um, but one of their beliefs is that Donald Trump is 
basically chosen by God to end the deep state, um, drain the swamp, so to speak, and expose all of these elites as pedophiles who harvest children to um, drink the juices that come from their pineal glands. It sounds very Alex Jones. It is. It it, 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 it seems ties really in modern a lot. conspiracy theory. It is. It is. It's it started on um, anonymous like 4chan, 8chan, those types of forums online. And um, supposedly Q is supposed to be someone who's working within the government himself in some capacity. I'm not as familiar as I would like to be, and it, it changes and evolves so quickly over time, it's really Which, hard to keep track of what they actually believe. Um, because, Which makes me think that this Q person may, or who Q whatever, consortium, whatever they are, could be nobody, could be tons of people, could have been one person, could have been could be somebody trolling could be you know the russians or some other country trying yeah. to inject shit into this to fuck shit to oops to we already said the big h so yeah it doesn't matter um, yeah Hello. you know you throw everything at the wall because situations like that especially 4chan 8chan those are great for opportunists to just yes. get in there and so I, I'm not sure about any of it. What's real? What's not real? Who believes? Who doesn't believe? Who's tell? Who's purposely making stuff up to see who bites? To yeah, create it's a, havoc um, to sow discord to troll people. Yeah, I saw an interesting comment by Boogie Monster Mom. Wait, Armin, can you scroll back up? It was at uh, seven o three p.m. Um, yeah. she's saying, can you imagine going through life thinking that way? It would be utterly exhausting, feeling as if you have to look over your shoulders all the time, unable to trust anyone, shaking my head, blah, blah, blah. Well, she didn't put the blah, blah, blah. That was me. Um, yeah, I think that's, it's, it's really tragic. You know, you have to, I have a lot of empathy for people who get sucked into totalistic and absolutist ideologies. And in a lot of ways, um, it's religious thinking. Um, like, oh, totally thinking about what it would, it's utterly exhausting feeling like you have to look over your shoulder on uh, all the time, unable to trust anyone. When I was dealing with a lot of the way I was conditioned religiously, I felt that way a lot. Um, except, you know, the target was different. Um, it's, and then when I was in the far left, I'm still dealing with the paranoia that was conditioned into me. Um, and like, I don't even, sometimes I have a hard time doing the podcast because I have such a conditioned phobia of online surveillance and being tracked by the state. Whether or not that is reality based, I still sometimes have a hard time getting my mind unscrewed by it um it's it's really tough and you know this is why i think it's important to talk to people you disagree with because the main one of the main ways that people will change their minds is they have to have positive experiences with um the people who they least expect to have positive experiences from right i, I wanted to make that, a Rip, point though Rip, where you were don't... Don't let me distract you with the live chat. Sorry, go on. Go on. Because people in the podcast... Um, because the haberdasheries. The audio version of this, people are going to think like you were laughing at what Susanna said. So just look. I mean, she could be. No, fine. I was yeah. laughing at uh, yeah, yeah. somebody's comment. I forget who about Haber, yeah, Big yeah. H. Okay. Um, no, you were saying about the far left, though, and the Q thing and the Trump thing is that... Honestly, some of these things are very similar. Like the super far left, some of these far right people have very similar uh, conspiracies about certain things. And they cross in very bizarre, weird ways. Yeah. And it's really interesting to me how similar they are about some of their anti-state and some of their conspiracy theories and some of the people that they dislike. Like a lot of these far right people and far left people both hate cops, which is, you know, or the government. It, it's Wall just, Street. Wall Street, you know, they all kinds of rich Wall people. Horseshoe theory, definitely. 
yeah, horseshoe theory is real. It's just a very interesting dynamic how that happens. But this lady seems cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs in the yeah, red shirt. Yeah, I encourage um, people to look into QAnon and not like, to please don't get into this cult. Um, but it, I do think that it is going to be an increasingly popular belief if you're in America. It's probably international at this point. It, well, because they like hate globalists and stuff. Um, Which is but, code for Jews, by the way. Yes, it yeah. is. Um, I mean, but I think it's important to familiarize that... ourselves with these because they have a lot of code words that um, are important to pick up on. Like, where we go one, we go all. If you hear someone saying that, you should look into what they're associating with, for sure. Um, so for, on the Facebook post, not the Facebook live stream, um, Patrick is saying it's not... Okay, so this is in response to the title. The title said... Um, Florida Christian condemns face masks for blocking God's wonderful breathing system. And Patrick responds by saying, it's not the breathing system that is the problem. It is the virus your God created and is threatening to destroy, <laughs> and is threatening to destroy that system. Um, yeah. I mean, if these people, never mind, this is pretty obvious. Uh, Bernard is saying, by the reasoning, clothes of any kind should be a problem. Um, Vic is saying, great, shall we save God's wonderful breathing system from, from God's horrible coronavirus then? Because God ain't doing shit. All right. Um, Michael in the Facebook saying, Coco for Coco Puffs. <laughs> Michael keeps quoting us. Um, yeah, all right. So should we, do you guys have anything else before we go to the next news? Um. No, I just encourage, you know, having um, compassion for people who seem like they're too far gone because hmm. people aren't always too far gone. Well, here's the thing, though. You can laugh at them and become, have compassionate for, uh, be compassionate at the same time. Like some people think like, oh, my God, we should be have sympathy instead of laughing at them. You could do both. One doesn't, <laughs> of one, course. What doesn't, one doesn't negate the other one, right? So. Um, I mean, it's hard if you think like it's hard to have sympathy for them. If you if we tell people having sympathy for them requires you not to find us funny. If you if you send that message out there, then less people are going to be able to have sympathy for them. Um, we could be like, you know, laugh and then also be like, OK, how can we help you now? after you laugh, right? So, thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, What has? what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos. 